Uh, thank you for inviting me to to have uh, time with you. And uh, you know, uh, usually I climb on the rock uh, like a four or five days in a week. So I'm a little bit uh, uh, strange to be here, you know, <laughs> to to speak. But uh, and also it's the first time my English presentation. So uh, I think it will be hard for understand. But you know, I try to explain uh, as much as possible. Okay. Uh, here is uh, uh, like a thousand meter of wall, you know, and uh, um, it's like uh, um, this wall in 1958. Uh, three climber did uh, this this route, and they spent uh, 49 days. Imagine 49 days. They have to live in mountain. I think they need water. They need food. Maybe they need a bathroom. You know. But like, uh, uh, I, I want to show you about 2008, what's happened. me it! So, uh, 2008, uh, my partner and I did uh, this wall like uh, two hours, 37 minutes. <laughs> so how, how make it different, you know? Uh, I take only this much of gear, you know? And also I, I bring one bottle of water, uh, each of us, you know? And also we take uh, like a double shot latte, a double latte uh, power gel. Uh, I took only this, you know, for eating. And I just finished, uh, we just finished uh, like uh, 11 o'clock and coming back uh, like one hour to the base of the uh, 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 wall. And we had the champagne and lunch, you know. Um, and so how, uh, how make it different, like, you know, between, uh, compare like in 1958 and 2008? Um, Basically, we climb uh, with uh, you know bare hand. We climb up like uh, ten meter. I'm called uh, one one rope. You see the rope like hanging, and then uh, maybe like you know every ten fifteen meter, I I place one gear. You know uh, we have uh, many different sizes, and then puff, and through the rope and climb up again with uh, my hand. And after maybe ten to fifteen twenty meter, it depends. But uh, place another gear. And my friend, he's the uh, uh, end of uh, my rope. He's also coiling himself, you know. And he climb up and uh, he clean these uh, gears and climb up after 10, 15 meter, clean the, the gear. So we, we are like recycling every time, you know, <laughs> on this. So one of the reasons that we don't have much gear and we also climb up with bare hand um, does and in this case, sometimes we, we need a uh, climbing gear, you know, because the uh, route finish on uh, like a big freak. And uh, the next uh, uh, possibility is the left side of the crack, you know. And I have to swing, you see, go, woof. <laughs> and on this case, I'm hanging on uh, like a two piece of gear, one in the top and one uh, with my partner. So we, we are hanging on the two pieces. But like, uh, uh, mostly, we are using this gear as uh, protection in case of falling. Okay, and the falling uh, is dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> and so, like, uh, we need to avoid uh, somehow. And it's a really simple answer. We climb with bare hand, 
you know, we have to be strong on the hand, we have to be strong on the body and mind. And and also it's important thing, uh, we are climbing same time with my partner. If he fall, I'm going he's going to pull me out, you know, and I'm going to fall with him. And so like uh it's important to have good partner. Uh and my partner he's a handsome boy, you know. And I think I am too. <laughs> Thank you. So once we uh we have uh, like you know good partner and uh, lots of training and uh we uh, uh improve our skill of uh, bare hand climbing um ha we feel like you know our hand is like a good protection you know and I feel that way mostly you know when I climb up like uh 20 meter uh from the last pieces you know and if I fall I'm going to fall like 40, 50 meter, but you know, my good protection are here, so uh, I have a uh, good confidence. So like, uh, um, today I just want to uh, explain you that uh, uh, many things that we uh, are using, uh, tools, material, gears, uh, without thinking, you know, but uh, in my case, um, Without using gear, it's more faster and more effective, and we can catch the goal easily, you know. And that's a that's a difference, you know, f uh, compare like in 1958 to 2008, you know. My my goal is like uh, look at like 8,000 meter peak there, and start to climb up without taking any gear, zero gram gear, and uh, take the summit and come back to have a champagne on the base. So um, uh, in my case, uh, I said mostly it's with my hand, but like uh, I think uh, the um, like a hand and my, uh, my, my body and my, uh, my mind, all the things, it's unlimited possibility, has unlimited possibility and and I'm nearly sure that uh, um, in my case, uh, it was a kind of dream, but we can climb, I can climb like a, this kind of thousand meter wall uh, like without taking anything, only with my hand. So uh, last things with my partner and me. Um, I think uh, uh, the best uh, resource in this world, that was uh, my subject. And I think it's uh, in the world, I think it's inside of us, ourselves. If we improve, if we progress, uh, we can have like, you know, uh, incredible goal. Like my situation, I didn't take, I take only like, you know, five kilogram of gear, but I had a maximum result, you know, minimum material, and doing like maximum performance, maximum effort. So that's uh, what uh, I'm thinking, you know, and uh, what uh, uh, our potential. And also, you know, I pick up a good partner. <laughs> I'm sure that, you know, if you try to do something by yourself, it's not easy, even uh, even you have like a best, like unlimited uh, resource in inside of you, but like uh, with uh, together with your partner or with your friend, you will have uh, even much more like a possibility and uh, much more uh, deeper uh, resource, deeper, uh, much more anything, you know. <laughs> okay, uh, that's. Uh, um, my first uh, English uh, <laughs> speech. Thank you very much.